So what's the difference between vesting of options and vesting of shares? This is a good question. This is something that's not very well understood by a lot of people. When you issue stock that's subject to vesting, the company has the right to repurchase that stock for some nominal value, usually what the, comp what the employee or the founder paid for that stock. When an option is subject to vesting, it means that someone cannot purchase the shares underlying the option until that option has vested with respect to those shares. So quick example, if I'm issued a million shares of stock that are subject to vesting, that means the company can rebuy or repurchase some number of shares of stock that I've been issued, but that repurchase right goes away with respect to a number of shares over a period of time. However, if I'm issued an option to purchase shares, let's say a million shares, and it vests as to 25% after year one, that means I have the right to, re to, the right to purchase 250,000 shares on the first anniversary of my option grant agreement. So in one case, you're vesting into the right to buy something, that's a vesting of an option. In the other case, you're vesting out of a repurchase right that the company has. And if you wanna understand more of the differences for why vesting of shares is set up that way in terms of a repurchase, then you should watch some of our other posts that are geared toward 409A and 83B elections and the like. Options are a little bit different and those don't have the same considerations.